Hello, this is Luke from Wine Country BC. How are you doing? I'm taking you beyond the guided tour of wine in British Columbia, or at least that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, today I've got another wine to help you get ready for the wine touring season. And it happens that this one is also from Naramata, just like the last video that I did there, if you want to check it down there. Uh, it is uh, from Laughingstock Vineyards. It is their Blind Trust. And the Blind Trust 2010 is the vintage here. If you haven't been to Laughingstock, it is an experience. It's a beautiful vineyard, first of all. Uh, David and uh, Cynthia Enns opened it in 2005, uh, right on Naramata Road. It's uh, it's really uh, just a, an absolute beautiful, uh, beautiful tasting room. They have a beautiful view. You can see Penticton and all the lake and everything. It's great. Uh, the only thing is that they, uh, as of last summer, I believe, uh, you have to make an appointment. You have to make an appointment to go, and uh, that's which is not really a bad thing. Don't be like, hey, they've gone all Blue Mountain on you. They haven't. It's not that it's that it's uh, it's more of a safety thing. That little road going up to the winery is uh, that you know they just don't have a lot of parking, so they have to make sure that there aren't you know crowds of people going up there. Uh, anyways, uh, this is I'm a I'm a big fan of of just smart things and I just love these labels they've got all the stuff written all the details written around uh, about it except for one sort of crucial thing the one thing that they don't have listed on here are the varieties that are in this blend it is called blind trust and if you want to know what it is you have to look underneath the foil cap and then it will list all of the varietals and the percentages of what is in this particular bottle if you don't want to know, then don't look under the cap. I want to know, but I'm not going to tell you because I don't want to give it away. All right, you'll have to go and buy one for yourself. So let's take a look at this. It's a beautiful color. If I had to guess, there's probably a little bit of Syrah in there. Uh, but, ooh, big, dark, 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 dark fruit, dark cherries, dark plums, dark, all kinds of things. A little cocoa, it's a little closed in right now. It's 2010, but it should be open a little bit. It is a little cold actually too, now that I think about it. I had a really good experience at uh, at Laughingstock one day. I was I was driving in from Vancouver this was before I moved here to meet uh, to meet with a friend of mine, and uh, it, was, it was a slow drive. I got there late, and it was five minutes to five, uh, or five minutes to closing time, whatever time it was that they were closing. And I think it was Cynthia in the shop, and uh, I went into the shop, and you know, at five minutes to close, you don't really want to disturb, you know, you know, you, yeah, you know, I don't want to, don't want to get in the way, but I had to meet my friend, and so, uh, and so she's like, I'm sorry, I don't really have anything to pour, but I've got this barrel sample that you might want to try, and it was the at that time unreleased 2005 uh, portfolio, which is their big. Uh, beautiful Meritage blend, uh, which I love. Um, so I got to try a barrel sample of that because they just had it that day. And I was like, wow, that's awesome. That was so nice of them. Uh, anyway, so let's try this one out. The Blind Trust 2010. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Big, plummy, lots of acid there. This could age quite nicely for a little while. The tannins are nice and smooth. It's not like a big grippy kind of wine. I would age the portfolio for sure. This one, um, I wouldn't let it go too long. It's just, it's probably meant for a little bit more early drinking. I'm not sure. Uh, whatever it is, I really like it now. Uh, so. I'm going to drink it now. I'm not going to age it. And you don't have to, and that's okay. Aging wine is not really for everybody, but, you know, go for it. Um, nice little monogram cork there, too. Eh? Check that out. Anyways, uh, yeah, right on uh, Naramata Road, uh, Naramata Bench Road. Uh, basically, they're right there. It's not really that big a deal to make an appointment to call. 
um, you know, don't think of it as being kind of, uh, uh, the, that they're being hard to get. It isn't, it's just a safety issue and that they just don't have a lot of parking space up, up that hill. It's a pretty steep slope. You'll see if you haven't been there and you've, you've, uh, driven by it maybe, uh, then you'll know how steep it is. So if you, ha if you haven't been there at all, uh, then, uh, you're in for a shock. There's, it's, uh, it's quite a nice little sloped area that they have, but it is a very steep driveway. Uh, so yeah, anyways, check it out. This is the, uh, 2010 portfolio. Portfolio Red. They do have a white one as well, I believe. Uh, 2010 Portfolio Red from Laughing Stock Vineyards in Naramata. Check us out online at winecountrybc.ca and we're on Twitter at winecountrybc, Facebook at winecountrybc, and here on YouTube at BC Wine Country. So yeah, enjoy uh, Naramata Bench and enjoy your touring this summer. And uh, let me know if there's any wines that you'd like me to uh, to check out. Uh, in advance, or if there's any little wine secrets that you want to know about, like mm, well, where should I go and you know avoid the crowds, that kind of thing, because those are kind of neat. And uh, hopefully, maybe I'll have some of those a little bit more towards the uh, towards the spring. All right, so have fun booking your time in wine country, and cheers. Yeah.